In this example, we're going to work with two functions and compute the composition of them, similar to how we computed the composition of relations. So let's let f be a function from the real, start, takes an argument in the reals and gives you a value in the reals. So f is a function from r to r. And similarly, let g be a function whose domain is the reals and gives you an output in the reals, so its range is the reals. And what we're going to do is we're going to work specifically with two functions. So f is from r to r, g is from r to r, and specifically we have that f of x is 2x plus 4. So if you actually plot this, it would look like some line with a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 4. And the function g of x is 1 over x squared plus 3. So one thing we can go ahead and ask ourselves is, are these really functions from r to r? And one, one way to usually find something that violates this is to find a point that, you know, things mess up. But we don't have any problems here. f of x is just a line, so it's a very well-behaved, well-defined function. And the same thing with g of x. You might get a little worried off the bat once you see a 1 over type quantity. But notice that the x squared is always greater than or equal to 0. So we never have to worry about x squared equaling negative 3, and then negative 3 plus 3 going to 0 and this thing blowing up or anything like that. Um, so these are very nice, well-behaved functions that take a point in the reals and return a point in the reals. So these are the functions we're going to work with. And what we're going to do is we're going to compute two quantities. The first thing we're going to compute is f composed of g. So let's go ahead and do that. So this notation, f composed of g of x, by definition means take f and evaluate it at g of x. Okay, so that's pretty easy to do. We can just write that as f, and we need to replace the argument of the function f with g of x. Well, what is g of x? For this problem, g of x is 1 over x squared plus 3. So we just need to evaluate the function f at the point 1 over x squared plus 3. And what does that mean? So evaluating f at 1 over x squared plus 3 means that we need to look up here at the definition of f, and every x that we see, we need to replace with 1 over x squared plus 3. So there's only one x up there, so we replace the 2 times x with 2 times 1 over x squared plus 3. And then we have to tack on the plus 4, because that's what the definition of f of x has in it. And we can't really simplify this a lot. I guess we can multiply the 2 out to have this 2 over x squared plus 3 plus 4. So this is f composed of g. And that is our answer. And let's kind of do the reverse way, too. Let's compute g composed of f. Again, in terms of notation, g composed of f means take g of x and evaluate it at the point f of x. So for this problem specifically, that means take the function g and evaluate it at the point 2x plus 4. Okay. So how do I evaluate the g at the point 2x plus 4? Well, I have to look up here at the definition of g, and everywhere that I see an x, I have to replace that x with the quantity 2x plus 4. So there's only one x up here, that's this right here. So I, when I write down g evaluated at 2x plus 4, I'm going to write down 1 over x squared plus 3, but I'm going to replace the x with 2x plus 4. And I guess we could, simp we could just leave it like that. I guess we could simplify it a little. Maybe we want to expand the uh, square there. So instead of 2x plus 4 squared, we could write that as 4x squared plus 8x plus 8x plus 16 plus 3, and then combine these terms a little bit to end up with 1 over 4x squared plus 16x plus 19 as our answer. So it's a pretty simple problem, just a few um, concrete examples of how you compute the composition of functions.